Hello everyone. So I received uh, a question on my service desk, and the question was actually about uh, changing the color of the status in the workflow. Now this is a very common question. People want to do this, and people always wanted to do this in Jira. In Jira, of course, we have different. We have the option to create different statuses. Like to do, in progress, done, on hold, whatever you you want to call it. So people create statuses, and uh, I understand that sometimes it is great if you can have a status like on hold, or maybe rejected in a red color, or maybe when it is uh, done, you want to have it in a specific green color. So I think green color is always there. I mean, it is right now there in Jira, but. Uh, you just have three colors in jira and there is no way to have more colors for example let me let me show you and so the answer is no you can cannot really have custom colors for example if you're looking at this workflow now this workflow has the statuses like open which is in a grayish color then we have work in progress which is in blue color and then we have completed closed cancelled so basically these statuses in jira they are always mapped to or they are always part of a category. For example, if you click on add status, and by the way, these are all the statuses in my Jira instance. If you click on one of the status, you can select here category, which is to do, in progress and done. And these categories are fixed, so you cannot really have more categories. And uh, the color is also fixed. So gray, blue, and green. And based on the category, the status will also reflect the color. And this is one thing that I wanted to also cover today because in case you're new to Jira and in, and in case you're wondering or maybe you are feeling frustrated about not being able to change the color, then please be assured that there is no way to do it right now. What you can do is you can actually supplement this with the help of a, a dashboard. So you can always create your own dashboard where you can maybe group these issues based on a status for example maybe you can create your own status and uh, maybe you can uh, do some customizations based on uh, i mean when i say customizations i'm talking about uh, these colors of gadgets for example imagine the first report is showing you open or in progress or rejected issues so basically you can have a, a list of issues here and you can actually do it very easily. So let us do it. Let us uh, create a filter based on uh, okay, based on the issue, based on the status, and then uh, we'll uh, display it on the dashboard. So if you go to issues, if you're on cloud, you can go to your issues, or basically if you can start searching. So let us do something like this: status is equal to. Let us select here, uh, maybe. Cancelled. Let us see if we have something in, in cancelled, or maybe on hold. Let us select on hold here. I, I'm sure we have a lot of lot of issues that are on hold, and I'll save it as on hold. And uh, let me create maybe one more because uh, why not? So let us. And by the way, if you want to create a new filter or a new search, just click on search issues on the left hand side. It will clear it for you. So let us select here status is equal to maybe to do. Yeah, why not? So we have two nice filters and uh, maybe I already have to do this particular filter. And if you go to your dashboard now, let us go to the dashboard called track progress. So we have two set of issues, one on hold, the other one for to do issues so of course you know there are a lot of possibilities but uh, maybe if you want to have a simple list so select something called as filter filter results and click on the add and it will let, let us add two because we want to and uh, we have the option here to select uh, to do and because we are talking about to do we want to have let us say this in uh, let us have blue color i think blue is fine 
and uh, blue color should be okay in my opinion so this is of course the color of the bar on top and if you move it on the right hand side let us select here on hold and uh, for this particular one maybe we want uh, something which is orangish in color on top so basically this particular bar on top this line is orange so this will give you some indication and uh, i guess this is one way of doing it in case you are using other reporting apps you can rely on those apps features but uh, status color in jira is fixed and i believe uh, there is an app i was looking at this post on the community and i believe there is an app uh or maybe couple of apps that can do something so just search on the marketplace but uh, personally i am not massively concerned with too many colors i think uh, these colors are fine of course if you're on server you can do a lot of wonderful things by injecting your own css if you want but and i i've shown how to do it and you can of course have more colors but on cloud of course on cloud you can't really have your own custom css uh, but these are the possibilities and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much